What is going on, Geeks? Unite the Clans here, back in your life, doing a little Saturday evening stream. Uh, not sure who's going to make it, who's going to turn out. I'll make sure the viewer count thing is on. I'll, I'll make sure if we get new subscribers or sponsors or any of that, you notice it. I'm going to keep the intro short, guys, because I'm playing on my friend's server, SW Chris. Links for him in his Discord in the description. It's going to be him, a bunch of the people from his community showing me around their place. So I'll keep the intro short and jump in with them. Might be a lot of voices in chat, so I'll say the basic stuff at the beginning. Thank you to my Patreon supporters. Love you guys. Same with stream sponsors. You guys are making my life awesome and giving me the opportunity to do very cool things. Uh, so thank you. And, uh,. Shout out to, I think, you know what, I'll hold off on that one. I'm not sure what kind of server we're playing on. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, uh, I think those are the big ones, guys. I'll, and SW Chris, check him out. Link in the description. We've known each other quite a long time. Uh, I'll be hopping in with him and a big bunch of his crew of people. So thank you for tuning in. I know it's a weird time. I know we didn't do a morning stream today, so I'll, I'll make it up to you tonight, guys. And Hopefully with lots of streams to come in the future. I'm working on some new things. Hopefully you can get excited for that. And thank you for being cool with me having some downtime, not playing lots of ARC lately. Love you guys. Okay, I'm jumping in chat with a bunch of people. I will be quiet for a minute. Here we go. All right, how are you guys doing? Doing good. Doing pretty good. Cool. Well, I, awesome. I, I am now streaming. There are probably like 10, awesome. 10 people watching, maybe? We'll see. I usually Great. stream Third in the mornings morning. on Saturday, and I skipped my morning stream tonight to do a one this evening, so. Very cool. All yeah. right, so um, if we are all ready, this is the community center. I don't know if you guys want to take a look, but while we're here, this is probably a good time to do it. Cool. Um, so where would we start? Let's go ahead. Let's start with the main keep, and then we'll work our way outwards. Uh, I know some people who are watching the video just saw this, uh, so uh, we can go fast. Cool. But these are the main stairs, and uh, Carmen and uh, Cabs helped me out with this uh, quite a bit. Oh, I'm going to do this. I do this every time. I, I Hello? Was, I, hey there! Hi. Whoa. Okay, yeah, feel free to uh, walk in, but if we just go inside here, um, this whole thing, uh, the interior of this, uh, Lapis went ahead and decorated basically all of this. I didn't really touch a thing. Oh, cool. But this is meant to be sort of where the noobs can uh, shack up. Um, this is the main entry. And if we go in here, we'll be in the dormitory. Cool. Off, off to your left. Very nice. Cool. And Chris, you've been working on this on your own? Or, or not obviously uh, on your own with the guys you mentioned, but for a while, right? Yeah, so uh, the build itself took about um, maybe a week and a half, two weeks to do, um, just because I have a terrible schedule. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, um, I did most of the exterior, and uh, Karm helped with details on the exterior and some suggestions for how to do things to make them look better. The interiors are always tough on places like this. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I, I had you come help me with the interior for a video back in the day because I had no idea what to do with it. <laughs> yep, it's still on my page. But uh, yeah, so uh, Lapis basically did all the interiors and she did a great job. Oh, um, beautiful. Yeah, and then inside, this is this is the coolest part of it, I think, is, is this garden. Oh, yeah. So mixing like very modern and, and kind of ancient feeling, it's kind of a cool transition from the castle stuff to the to the platform. Yeah, it's really different. Uh, I started with cliff platforms because we wanted to I just wanted to play around with those. Yes. And uh, we uh, went ahead and, and just started with this one and then the uh, the, the aviary up top and then deciding what to put into it i just said eh, let's try a castle it, it worked out pretty well i think cool yep no place looks great 
very oh. complete. These little yeah, tanks no are problem. Off. Those are, those are the Eco's uh, terrariums. I haven't seen this version of the... Guys, I totally need a fourth screen. I'm muting these guys for a second. I feel like I just don't have enough screens to keep up with everything in the world. Let's move this over here for now. I will try and keep up with chat. So I'll, just to update you guys who are new, this is SW Chris, his, his crew. We're on their server. Links for him in the Discord. Old friend of mine, one of the first YouTubers I ever made videos with. Playing Ark like almost a couple of years ago I don't know how long so I love this guy um, and his people have built some very cool stuff so shout out to everybody I'm not gonna say hi to everybody in chat but thank you for coming out for a different time for the stream and uh, oh I'm dropping frames nope five minutes ago okay I'll catch up with these guys let me do that um, let's see if we go back the all right I'm with if you we guys. go back the other way there is uh, other things like the path to the aviary which is straight back from the main entrance oh. <laughs> get stuck on your doors yeah, right, me they're, they're a little tricky sometimes i guess aviary sweet yeah so basically the exact same looking structure um but with a portal at the top Oh, cool, man. Is that like a, a regular? I honestly have not played oh. much with that stuff. Is that a, the regular one or is that like a dynamic shaped one? That is a regular one. Cool. I didn't use any dynamic stuff in this one. Oh, uh, I thought I, I might, haven't but played I much with it either. Yeah, I decided not to. Um, if you have a fast bird, it can be a little hard to get in here. That was one <laughs> design flaw in this. It's probably perfect for a Tapahara, I would think. Yeah, yeah, probably. Oh, cool. And if you come over to the far edge near the uh, dormitory, you can get a good look at the flying buttresses. Now, where am I looking? Oh. Where are you? I th I'm, I'm still in your aviary. There you are. Oh, there you are. Okay. Uh, come over here. This side. Do a little crouch job. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, you got to do a little crouching. <laughs> Nice. But yeah, that's the that's the main community center, and then we can go look at the other stuff uh -huh, sure. uh, that's around here. So, yeah. Um, Sorry, get back out. The other stuff there is a uh, workshop area that uh, Cabs built. So it's just down the hill here. Oh my gosh, I'm a dork. I think I got myself stuck. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, we will go look at the bank. Don't worry. Oh, someone totally has to come back for me. <laughs> Why is there a Pteranodon under the terrain? How did that happen? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm embarrassed. I have to hide my screen right now. Hang on just a second. I'll ghost in and get him. No, I'm such a dork. Oh, are you still up there, UTC? No, I jumped over the silly railing. Oh, I've almost got it. <laughs> I'm gonna you do You should it. be able to. Can you go step? Oh, yes, I probably could. I Let me see if I still have your... Oh, wait, I, I can't show that on the stream. Give me a sec. I'll hide my screen and see if I still have the password. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, I need a saddle to ride it. Huh? But he can just sit down there. It'll be fine. We'll get him later. Did you get out, UT? Oh, yes, I should be good. Okay, perfect. All right. Perfect. And I'm back. All right, I'll follow you. Beautiful. I'll try not to jump over any more railings into, like, hazard zones that small only small children and old people could get stuck in. Providing old people can jump that far. Yes. Yeah. I'm assuming that's a slip and fall incident. <laughs> Help me, I've fallen and I can't get up. All right. 
Okay, so yeah, this uh, this area over here, this is Cab's workshop. Um, so this is uh, this is where noobs can come, or just anybody on the server really, if they don't feel like setting up their own base. Yep. And uh, they can uh, craft things in here. Uh, basically, everything here is, you know, provided minus material. Cool. Well, I stocked it with materials, and the understanding is that if you take it, replenish it. This is a really simple design. Yeah, lots, it's lots uh, of space, not too complicated, but it feels very unique. This space. Exactly. That's what makes it a good design, I think. Simple and still unique. Oh, totally. Yeah. Uh, so why don't you, uh, Cabs, tell us about uh, the um, getting the uh, industrial uh, furnace and designing a, a housing. I'm just going to mute them for a quick sec there. I want to say hello to everybody. It's cool that you guys saying hi in chat, hanging out with the SW Chris. They are all really cool builds that these guys have here. I have been lacking inspiration in Ark lately. I should have come to Chris sooner. That's like his tagline is, is inspiration. He's all about that and creativity. And I haven't had any lately for Ark. So it's exciting for me to get back to it. Um, I'm going to let these guys talk about their builds and follow them around and check everything out. But just want to check in with you guys every once in a while. Thank you for watching on the stream. Love you. Pillars in, and then I sunk the sunk it down into it, so it's a little bit more streamlined. Yeah, and it looks pretty good, I think, uh, that way. And UTC, be careful, don't fall over the edge. Yes, sorry, <laughs> I get myself distracted. <laughs> um, I don't even know which door you guys went out of. Right There's only one. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what's wrong with Turn that? around, UT. Thank you. Oh, one yeah, of those Yeah, you days. have to come around outside to smelt some metal, but uh, it is. You can do it right there. Yeah, just walk down the stairs and you can access oh, looks, the forge. Looks very cool. I like uh, greenhouse glass around that thing. It has a really cool effect. I, I could, I, the, uh, S plus glass is nice, but I, I like the greenhouse glass where it gives you the tint. Oh yeah. And then I use the castle keep ceiling on the actual building itself or the castle keep roof. I mean, yes. Oh. So that that's from the castles keeps and forts mod. Oh yeah. sweet. So it gives it a unique, that wedge shape where each one meets. Right, of course. Yeah, that's cool. I, it took I you don't even notice that at first. So is that like almost the same as greenhouse glass? Is it meant to look the same? No, I don't think so. no, it's out of the castle keeps mod, so it's not meant to look. It's actually when you get up to it, it's wood. Okay. Honestly, it looks great right next to it, man. They totally look like yeah, they belong and, together. Yeah, and I think you picked it because it uh, matched the wood texturing on the stone cliff platform. Yep. In terms of color, anyway. Oh, beautiful. All right. So let's head down the hill to the market, I think, or the tower first, I guess. Okay. Okay, cool. So this is a this is the first thing that actually got built here. Uh, this tower. <laughs> this is a... Uh, I think all Carm's work. So Carm, what, what did you, what did you, what was your idea here when you wanted, when you started building this? Um, well, I noticed that the entire area is sort of plateaued and here there's no actual way to get up to where the workshop and all of that is from down here. So the first thing I thought was, well, maybe staircase is the best idea. And I didn't want to just do just a ramp sticking up because it would look kind of really, I don't know, ugly. So basically I thought, okay, big staircase with a landing, turns 90 degrees, goes down. And then I had also the job to do the market as well. So I figured push that down with a staircase and then put the market there so that it fills up the space really nicely. How oh, cool. Yeah, it's be much better than a giant ramp, which everybody else does. So. <laughs> you yeah. know, we had, a, we had an empty hole kind of right here. So what we did was we stuck a pergola underneath it and made this a community kitchen. Oh, this thing over here, yeah. Okay. So this is uh, this is something you added, Caps? Uh, 
Actually, I put the structure down and uh, silver um, decorated it. Okay, very nice. What was it about this yeah. place that made you want to do the the pergola here? I know you. There was a net, there was kind of a little hole right in here. Okay, like it goes back in a bit. Okay, so it's just a way to use that space up and not just a be little nook. Yeah, not be evasive into the rest of the community yep. center. I love it. Plus, it also it works with the market in general because the idea at first was to make sort of an outdoor eating thing, which when you walk into the market, you have uh, table and chairs all over the place, and the idea just went really well to put an outdoor kitchen along near the market. What's with the floating grass? Is anybody else seeing this? No, that glitch has been here since the server launched. Yep, we can't get rid of it. Lovely. I'll just ignore it then. <laughs> um, yeah, and then we can look at the market here. The market and the bank are awesome. Yeah, so we have a currency mod on here, which um, we haven't quite figured out how to use quite yet, but uh, this market is sort of maybe hopefully would would become like the central hub of like the economic activity on the server so there's a bank over here in the corner okay cool is is it me or is this this vendor here kind of look like the red-headed guy off of game of thrones that's part of the the wildlings torment yeah i've been told I'm, i guess yeah i've been I told know. my beard is starting to get torment like i gotta not let it get to that <laughs> length <laughs> mine, mine was too, but my girlfriend made me cut it. Yeah, no, mine just won't seem mine. to get longer. I can't, I don't know how people grow them like that, really. It from what my barber tells me, you can or you can't. Lapis is saying this is Nathaniel, not Torment. If okay. I'm understanding correctly. Oh, yes, yeah. Well, <laughs> I didn't think the vendor was was. Uh... He waved at me. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, Nathaniel Marquette now it is yeah. now named Nathaniel. <laughs> <laughs> and then over here we have the bank. Yes, the bank. So this is a really cool thing. Like these uh, stained glass designs. Um, when I saw these in like the mod pack, I didn't really know what to do with them. And this is actually kind of a neat use use of them. I oh think. yeah, I really haven't made a good base out of these either. It's really hard because the pattern is very repetitive. But That's it. Um, yeah. If you if you spring them in some places, it kind of works. Like the idea here was to make kind of a skylight. It works great. Um, yeah. And then on the front is like I reverse them and how I you, made them uh, you, stick out like that. I was gonna say, how do you like them? There's a wall form of it too, right? As opposed to just the slope. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, how do you like that one? Is that do you find that works well as a window or or not? Like obviously. Yes and no. Yeah. It's, it's hard to it's, get it into some places, isn't it, Karn? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, it has a slightly different snap point. It works really well with S+, plus, but for castles and keeps, it's kind of annoying. Yep. So, uh, but it it goes really well with this kind of lavender sort of uh, upholstery and furnishings, I think. And then, of course, you got the bank inside with a vault. And Can a you measure the vault? I can. Yeah. I don't know about you guys. It should be open. Everything. Nope, it's not open. That's good. You, in you, there don't want, you don't want but, people yeah. just straggling in there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the uh, all the decorations. Basically, me and Lapis Someone work else as a it. team. No, it's it's not like that. It's me and Lapis work as a team. Um, basically, I build the structures and Lapis decorates them because there you she's, go. she's a lot better with interior design as I am with it. And um, uh, a bit, build, a bit. Okay, I'm a mute again, guys. Let me know how I'm doing for people's volumes. I'm trying. Lots of people in Chris's uh, community chat here. Uh, some of the people you're hearing from. Uh, well, he's mentioned the names. There's a bunch of them. I won't say it. Um, uh, someone said the camera's blurring. I sh I'm keeping an eye on it. It seems to do it once in a while. Like maybe when I put my hand up, it blurs for a second. But it seems to get back in focus. So I, I will pay. T Pay good attention to that. Um, I'm saying hi to everybody. I can't say hi to everybody. Um, but yeah, hoping all you guys are good. Um, yeah, and let me listen to these guys because they're probably saying important things to me. Are there areas we should be uh, looking at right around here or should well, we move on to we have, our uh, first base? We have the greenhouse and the bug pen up top. Oh, right, right. So we can go look at those really fast. 
Okay. Sorry, I skipped right over those. Didn't really mean to. Follow the crab. Yeah, so it's just right up the hill. And then uh, there's a greenhouse here. And then right behind it is the bug pen. Ooh, giant quest just coming right in for landing on top of me. The, so did you Sorry say about that. Bug no, pit? You did. Bug pen. Bug pen. Cool. But a pit would be great. If it was possible. Sounds like they're prisoners yes. in a pit. They're prisoners in the pen, too. Okay. Every now and then I gotta fly over and pick them up and put them back in here because they glitch through the walls. Yeah, they like to do that, don't they? Yeah, anything S plus, I'm told. Oh, that's unfortunate. Why do we have an old sea mine in here? What does that do? I was wondering the same. Oh, what? That's, a nine, that's the S-plus item collector. Oh, okay. So when you open it up, it's <laughs> filled with, uh, there's some eggs, uh, and lots of poop. God. Oh, I meant to say that. I saw that in chat. Jimmy's asking about Red, who is uh, Red Dragon 2 k one in the Geeks Discord. Uh, and he's William here in chat. He was around every live stream for quite a while. He's a Patreon supporter. Um, he sent me a message a while back saying he was going to be taking a little time away. I thought it might be a week. I haven't really heard much uh, from William, but I, I asked around and other people had heard from him. So I think he's doing well. Um, I had one brief moment of dropped frames, but otherwise the stream seems to be going great, guys. I will try and keep up uh, with this crowd. Yeah. Okay, let me get ready. I'll be back in chat with them. And awesome, 42 people. Thank you for tuning in tonight. We're having fun. Okay, let's did, did let's wait on that part? one then. Uh, would the Nico's base Nico's? is right over here. Yeah. All right, let's yeah. do that Nico's. one then. Okay. That's 21.7 latitude, 17.6 longitude. If yeah, I get... I'm right, uh, heading right towards the blue beacon. Okay. It's Nico. Where'd I put my bird? Hmm. I don't think I can take anyone else's. I got mine, right? Yeah. So have you guys used up all the best spots on the Ragnarok map, or have there not been no. uh, enough builders yet? No, there's yet a lot of them? spots. Tons. There's tons over in the highlands. There's uh, all the islands in the desert section are open. I'm very lucky to have a giant crew of people in our Patreon server, and they our, our Ragnarok is very crowded. There's like all the prime spots are taken, and all the very best ones people have to agree to make them a community center. Um, it's nice that you guys <laughs> have the space to expand. I'm sure give it a little time, and you guys will be there'll be too many of you guys to count. Well, the um, that in my opinion, where the community center is probably one of the best spots on this map. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's so many though. I don't know how to how you pick the best. If you don't love the jungle the most, it's hard to love this the most because the other parts of the map are so great. Okay, I'm okay, behind I'm you guys. Behind I, think. You guys I think. There it uh, is. There it is. When we swing by Thank my you, place, Chris, Chris I'm gonna, gonna give you a tranodon that's a lot faster. Oh, it's not oh, that. Yeah. It's uh, the, it's, fact, uh, the that fact that I didn't that know, I know my coordinates. coordinates. I had to spawn in a GPS. In a GPS. <laughs> you guys took off. I think, but I'm here. I'm, I'm, here. Here. I'm yeah. getting an echo, I think, through echo. Nico. Is that right? It's well, it's coming through the game, too. Yes, it's in the in-game yeah, in voice chat. Voice chat. Like, yeah, even yeah, when you were talking, Mike about keeps popping up. I can mute the in-game voice chat. That's probably the simplest thing to do. It's lower voice volume. We're all using Discord. There we go. Yeah, Jeez. that works. That solves everything. Don't stress it. Okay, where is everybody? I think we're, we're here. Are you here? Yeah, I'm flying around. I don't see anyone, though. We're all standing oh, wait. in front of a Someone's building. shooting a turtle. Oh, there we are. Hi. Here we go. Big keep I got to make soup, man. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let me mute voice chat. Uh, okay, there we go. All right, I'm muting them again for a second, guys. I can't quite keep up. 
I feel like I do, my brain is not active enough today. I need to get in some better uh, practice live streaming, and I plan on that. Uh, I am doing great, Daniel, and uh, and I hope you're all doing well. I have sorted out that echo thing, and I will keep up with these guys. I think they're about to do another chunk of touring. I just, man, my screen, I, my attention is just divided today. I don't know. I hope all y'all are doing well. I think your chat should come up on this screen for me, which is great. I don't have to look at this one. I can keep Chris's Discord up here and try and balance these audio volumes. Let me know if anybody's too quiet. If I'm too quiet, I can speak louder. I can use more of an outdoor voice. But yeah, let me know. I'll hop and chat with these guys again. Okay. Um, you want to show us the, I guess, the inside? Or, or what are we going to uh, see first? I'll bring you through the little garage first. Do it. This is where I keep all my uh, gathering dinos. It's a nice collection. So that they're easy to get to. And be careful of the little compies running around. Yes. Yeah, oh, are there wild compies? No, uh, I have a breeding compies. Oh, okay. Just wild. There's little baby ones somewhere. Oh, there he is. Oh. They're just they're just little specks. <laughs> These and are so one. cute. That is cool. Yeah, that's a tiny wow. It's a cute little compy thing. Don't yeah, step on it. Um I think it has a green mutation. I can't really tell with how small it is right yeah, now. I betcha. That's great. <laughs> There's a magnifying glass engram. I take it it doesn't actually work as a magnifying glass. <laughs> No, it kind so. of does. But yeah, this is also my breeding area. And then. Well, it, has, uh, it has a black stripe on its back, Nico. Yeah, um, that's from the parents, I think. Because uh, here are the parents over here, and that kind of greenish color isn't on any of them. Yeah. But the next room is over here. This place is huge. In memory of the tree I had to cut down, I put a one of those uh, stumps <laughs> in the middle. Oh, that is cool. And this is also the dung beetle pen. Well, that's a neat idea. I like oh, that. Yeah, it's a good idea. And I've actually had none of them escape so far, surprisingly. You put a, a nice. You can put a, a tap in the stump. Yeah, yes. it's from uh, Eco's landscaping mod. Oh, nice. Or no, light trees. Mods are so crazy. I don't know how to keep up with them anymore. But Look at all I these. wanted to deck this place decorate this place kind of like it was like a little mini zoo and I try to put all my little shoulder pets and small dinos around like they're going around looking at all the places in here yeah this feels like a pet store like parts of this uh, room should be like steamy and uncomfortable where you keep the lizards yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is a really neat room I really like it I love it at night it looks amazing at night Bit there were oh, not this many terrariums awesome. when the eco first put out this mod no yeah. there there's a lot of terrariums there were like four now. or five back then i gotta play with this again this is cool yeah i think whenever um scorched earth came out uh, a whole they released a whole bunch more and like i remember whenever the quetzal first came out there wasn't one flying around inside of it so Oh, what is up, guys? Welcome, Dusty P. Dusty P making my life amazing. These days, I have been <coughs> AFK quite a bit the last little while, guys, and just kind of trying to get a, a new idea on a new ARC series and some new live streaming ideas going. Um, been working on a bunch of stuff, but uh, shout out to Dusty in chat there, guys. He's awesome. Give him some love. And I'll keep uh, following up with these guys. Their bases are so cool. I've been lacking some arc inspiration, and I'm getting it today. So I'll follow the tour guide, and I'll, I'll, I'll stay quiet. But thank you guys all for tuning in. Oh, I meant to show you this. Check out my screensaver. Camouflage today. You like that?
Saturday evening are 42 of you guys. Love you. Yeah, you finally made it to a live stream watching uh, you for months. Awesome. Love you guys. Let me follow the tour and not get lost in the in the tour. Total three floors. Over here is the kitchen. It's kind of small. Okay. Next to a sign that says cooks only. Yeah. Uh, uh, just a second. Let me. Oh, you're stuck. Pick that oh, up. Oh, good idea. Good idea. That's where I'm planning to put the uh, industrial cooker whenever I get it. But Chris, the little cabinets I put up here was kind of inspired by uh, oh, I remember Chris your one of your things. Can't remember oh, which yeah. one. He, remember, I remember Chris, you doing the, the the sideways chair shelf raised up with them all yeah. stacked on top of each other. That this is what yes. this reminds me of, right? Yes. So the that's what I did with your interior design build for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's because like, the, the bottom of the chair makes a little box almost, right? Yep, so you can get a similar effect in vanilla. Yeah, uh, I remember seeing that video and figured I'd try that with the little cabinets. And then after going over and seeing the Stormhold base and with the uh, half walls brought down, I thought that'd be a good idea to have a little bottom area to hang all the pots and pans and stuff. Yes. Well, this, this looks really great. I, I like how you arranged everything. And then over here, I uh, there was... That's actually this right here behind the cabinet is actually the ice box. Slightly clipped through the wall to make it look like it's a little standing cabinet. Same with oh, the okay. dish, dish shelf. I can't speak. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, I, I see you use the... Uh... I finally figured out what you meant about backdrop. Let me solve this. Uh, I think I gotta unlock the face cam. Let me see if I can do this. And I trim in. I think Dusty says the bar is showing a little bit up here. You don't need to see the top of my head. I'll reach up. That's plenty high enough. All right, lock this again. Let me hop back in chat with these crazy people. I'm glad they're all still in the room every time I do this. Nobody even notices I disappear. It's awesome. And 43 of you guys, welcome. Um, we'll make a fun live stream, and then I'm going to spend a little time on the Geek servers. Uh, I don't know if I'll be live streaming. Probably not. I think we'll just do Chris's spot tonight, but I'm working on some new ideas, guys. Ark will be back in your life. First, put the bucket through it, and then you have a water water source for your uh, greenhouse. Okay, cool. What is in here? That would be the uh, kitchen. In our, oh. The dining room. Oh, wow. All right. Oh, wow. Look at those crazy chandeliers. Those are insane. Those are really cool chandeliers. <laughs> those are from like the Beast's Mansion in Beauty and the Beast. They it's should be to us. A uh, landscaping mod. Oh, and, okay. And the table is actually three tables all together, made to look like one long table. Yeah. That's pretty good. I mean, that table is pretty long, but uh, you made it actually look normal sized in this room. <laughs> it's great. You notice this rug has a different sound to it. Yes. Yeah. It's quite infuriating, actually. Sounds like you're walking <laughs> around on thatch. Uh, no, I would not want this rug in my house. It's annoying. <laughs> the return of the shag, baby. <laughs> uh, I have shag carpet in the room I'm in right now, so that's how old my old that farmhouse is. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. It's not bad in the winter, though, shag carpet. I'm going to be honest. If you live in a farmhouse, it keeps your feet yeah. Yeah. I mean, ta well. uh, Taz in my chat is lamenting all the dino heads. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's You've so been much. busy. Wildcard messed up not giving us that kind of a thing so long ago. Like, what, are you going to give us two trophies to put on that stupid trophy rack? Give us all these. Why Why do I have to wait for Eco to do this stuff? She did a good job with it, too. Oh, for sure, yeah. I mean, I love I love the arc and the fact that we got so much, especially Chris and I, for a long time with our channels, there was so much new arc content where the game was giving us new updates that was great for yeah. us. But... Um, Wildcard, there's so many things they could have done and, and didn't like this that mods have come in and done for us. 
Yeah, for sure. Um, and I bet you she's going to have to remodel half of these when the uh, TLC update comes right. out. Right, right. Yeah. What's huh. What kind of creatures are targeted for that? I think I've seen Argies, maybe. I can't. The kangaroo, the, the wolf. wolf, the bear, the mm. T Rex. I don't remember anything else. Too. Stego oh, yeah. Spino is going to be standing up now. They did a good job with Stegos, I think. Yeah. First time around. Mm hmm. The RG uh, are really nice. So, uh, so what's next? Uh, if you want to, you can look here at the back end. This is just my back porch, and you can see the watchtower over there. Ooh, pretty. Resisted the urge to do it. That's what she said. Uh, Someone's flying. But uh, don't try to go into the watchtower because um, it has the S plus spiral staircase and they're flipped. So everything's glitched. So you just fall through. Oh, okay. <laughs> and Fair warning. That's like 12 staircases high at least. Actually, no, it's probably about 14 because the walls are 12 high. So that's 14 spiral staircases in there. And I'm not going through to change all those. I honestly, so it's more for looks. I love yeah. the way that that piece is super versatile, that S plus spiral staircase, but it's, it doesn't work right. I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> I might I, need some tweaking for I sure. I end up using ramps <laughs> and convert those to stairs. Since we've had that option, I've loved that. That's all I ever want to do. Yeah, I, like I, I tend to there. use that a lot, but sometimes I'd much rather just have a spiral staircase. Okay, so um, I have to go quiet. Awesome comment, Night Shimmers. That dining room reminded me of exactly of that as well. The Stormcloak Capital City. What was it called? Wind Helm? Yes, that dining room did remind me of Jarl Ulfric's Hall, except it was just, it was more crowded than his. His was really vast. I'll hop back and chat with these guys. I'll go take another look at that room. Glass is metal. Yep. So you gotta pay to paint everything like as close as you can get to that color so i painted all the metal that's used for building into kind of a coppery kind of look now do you still get the effect greenhouse glass with the stained glass yeah yep. the stained house glass or the stained glass does work as greenhouse the doors and windows and everything count as well where'd you guys go after the awesome big dining room uh, we went <laughs> go down the big winding staircase. I had to go back and look at that dining room. I got a great comment about it. Uh, the dining room, uh, go back to it, and we're through the tiny door in there. Ah, not outside. No, no not, not outside. outside. Third time I've gotten lost. <laughs> it, it is a big place. Yep. No, this uh, is my biggest build, so I'm even getting lost in here. So I snuck back oh, in this uh, this dining room uh, because I had someone comment, and I was thinking the same thing. It reminds us, uh, me and a, another commenter, about this uh, place from Skyrim. Anybody else get that feeling of the place? Yeah, uh, that's actually why um, that was actually a lot of my inspiration. There you go. Perfect. Is Jarl Ulfric's Hall. What's it called? We yeah, uh, Dragon's Reach. Dragon's Reach, and that's in Windhelm. Did I get that right? Yeah, Windhelm. Yes, nailed Dragon's... it. Dragon's Reach is uh, not in Windhelm. That was White White Run. Oh, right, White Run. Yeah. Uh, White Run. What was... I, I'm getting mixed up. What, what was the What was the Stormcloak dude's place called? I can't remember. Um, Will Windhelm, and uh, Herod Hall or something like that. Taz was thinking the same thing about uh, Skyrim. Yeah, it definitely gave me that feel. I didn't mention it, and then someone left it in the comments, and I muted myself from you guys to go back and look at the room, and that's when I got lost. But anyway, glad we came back and talked about it. Yes. Totally got that. The blue carpet is part of what sold it, and the kind of cold gray stone walls, similar chairs and table, I don't know, totally captures the feel. Yeah. Very interesting. Mm-hmm. Whenever I was making, I was thinking more of uh, Dragon's Reach, but yeah, now that you say that, like, the whole reason I chose the blue is because blue is my color. <laughs> oh, beautiful. But well, it, it has, a, has a feel for that out. one other castle, but uh, I, Dragon's Reach, like, all those Skyrim castles had a very epic feel. Like, using any of them for inspiration in arc, you could definitely, uh, definitely build some cool stuff. Yeah. 
All right, so uh, let's go follow you on to the next room, I suppose. Now, tag along, guys. I just muted them. We're up to 53 people watching. I thought doing a Sunday night, Saturday night stream, it would be 20 or 30. So you guys are blowing me, blowing, blowing me, blowing me away. You gotta make sure you finish that sentence. Uh, okay, we're up in this room. Blowing me away. Awesome. Thank you all for tuning out. Uh, I'm gonna gamma. Tuning out. What am I talking about? Let's listen to these people. I should tune out. Shut up, UTC idiot. Is it raining outside? Is that what's going on? I, I think be. it's a windstorm. Ah, uh, okay. Yep, it is. Yeah, I heard the is going off. And so the place will get very dark. Alright, I, I but, gammaed up. But I have the sandbar over here and a little study area over there. So what's the sandbar all about? It's a bar, for, because we're near the beach. <laughs> for, yep, it's a beach bar. Serving Mai Tais and who knows what. I got a lot of inspiration from the Stormhold base. Because I was getting very tired and they showed me around over there. Well, I, I, I said that, that to start my stream, I've been in need of some inspiration lately. So I was really happy to hop over. That's all Chris's thing. So I figured you guys would would definitely have it in the surplus of inspiration for me. Oh yeah, there there's a lot more to come. Beautiful. I, I yes. will keep tagging along. Awesome. So let's uh, let's head on up to the next floor, like the next area. Over here is storage. Okay. So it's not much. I just put a couple things down and. I've done lots of base tours in my day. I always remind people, skip to storage. <laughs> um, good good opportunity to open up chat and say hi to you guys. Um, I hope you're making fun of me. Unite the clans, Ragnarok, PvP, what do you... Oh, you sh Never mind, I'm not... Sh zip it. Uh, loving it, UTC. How's chat going? It's going great, no play Jack. I think you messaged me and I may never have replied, so join the old Discord if I haven't chatted with you. We'll make sure we do that. But I'll listen to these guys not get lost. Walls it would take, and it said at least six to fully cover it. So, good. As long as nothing yeah. somehow changes. All right. The next area. See, I'm a genius. I skip storage and workshop areas. Show me the good stuff. <laughs> anyway, I gotta take time to chat up with you guys. So I hope y'all doing well. My voice is cutting out with these guys anyway from time to time with my crap internet. Okay, I'm coming. All right, so we'll wait for everybody, then we'll come up. Then we we'll, then we can start it once everyone's on. Uh, so do we go up up the stairs? Uh, no, outside. There's the a door next to the sandbar. Yes, of course. I'm not lost if I'm not the last person to find my way where we're supposed to go. <laughs> it's like amazing race. As long as you don't finish last, like I keep doing. <laughs> this is nice how you have it enclosed. Do we have everyone, or? I think so. We all here. We're missing you. I'm here. He's here. Oh, okay. I know I it's likely, likely that I'm missing, but <laughs> I'm here this time. <laughs> uh, we might want to get in the middle, or you'll might get pushed through. Is that me? Everybody squeeze it tight. Squeeze. Was it. gonna say you were hidden behind mind melt UTC. Group hug. Oh god. I'm such a bad multitasker, guys. It's I'm getting trying, tight. Trying to pay attention to too many things. I'm the worst mm -hmm. at it. And this is the aviary. I feel like I'm gonna nice. fall through it. <laughs> Glass, glass, uh, glass floor here. Okay, back in the like, Ooh, the, uh, the community center really inspired me with the aviary. Look at these stairs. And I really wanted to incorporate the stained glass as well. Ah, so. Fantastic. I think this this is really cool. I've, I've always wanted to build one of these where... Uh, you could just leave the animals on wander, so it looked like they were flying around inside. Like, there was 
something like I couldn't find the picture, but I remember whenever I first got into Ark, there was a picture I saw of someone's aviary that reminded me of, that was kind of based off this, or I based it off of. But whenever I tried to look it up, I could not find it anywhere. Well, it, you did a great job just kind of, I guess, doing something based off of. Uh, um, shout out to you guys in chat. Just want to say hi. Thank you for hanging out. Loving the aviary, stealing that look. I need inspiration. I keep coming back to this guys, and these guys are giving me a little. Uh, and I'm going to spend some time when I'm done tonight derping around on the geek servers, catching up with my people, my patrons. I, I have not spent enough time doing that lately. Um, and I'm going to work out some new ideas, either a new streaming series or a new geeks arc series. Wait, don't let me get lost on the tour. Anyway, love you guys. I'll keep chatting with you when I get a chance. And then here on the bottom, one of the things I didn't like was that it looked like it was hanging off. And so I got some of the castle, castles and keeps arches and put those underneath to try to make them look like they were giving some support. Ah, I feel you. Yeah, that works. Good great. idea. Yeah. Yeah. You could even, if you if you wanted to, I bet you could even do those up with a layer of walls above them too to thicken it up. I don't know if how, if they have different sizes and stuff, but you could definitely make that work a bunch of different ways. That's a cool building piece. The only problem is like the hitbox seems to go a little higher so whenever you walk over them like RGs like to get stuck on them and so yeah I can see that basically what I have to do is straight from here I have to like try to avoid them gotta keep my eyes open on base tours there's so much people like to talk about when they get the chance to show off a base but there's good stuff Uh, sorry, I'm just catching up on a great message uh, from one of my patrons. I really want to say shout out to those guys. I know this year I have talked a lot about it, about Patreon, about my page, about the computer. But it's been, cra it's been a crazy year for me. And uh, there's a few people on there that have made a giant impact. And I get to make videos all the time, guys. I have not... Oh, wait, hurry up. Sorry. Get on the elevator again. Sorry, guys. Going down. Yay! If I'm ever silent like that, I've just muted myself for a second to catch up with something from my chat without interrupting all you guys. I'm yeah, you're good. Apologies. No worries. Whip, whip me like that, I'll, I'll notice. <laughs> 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 Slap me around a little. <laughs> but I Thank also you. put the arches up over here just so that it wasn't the flat straight across. Yeah, I like. Yes, that. that looks good. Yeah, those those archways up there are the ones. They look good. It's like a little half arch. Yeah, it's a buttress, right? There is a keystone that you can put in the center, Nico. That uh, kind of a diamond shape. Oh, nice. It kind of yeah. That that looks like it's it could use that almost. Is it a wall wide the middle piece or is it a? It must be right. No, oh, it's a. It's are you a, referring to the the maker's mark? Yeah, maker's mark. Okay, interesting. All right, so um, uh, anything else that uh, you think we should take a look at? Um, or should we move on to the next uh, base? Oh, well, just my, my game just froze up. Yeah, me too. Oh, crap. Here. Mine did. Mine as well. Crash. Oh, it's the server. Derp. Oh. Cool. I'll try and log back on as quick as I can. I'm, I'll take a quick second while everybody's recovering and, and uh, zip over to the people in my chat and say hi for a sec. Um, but I'm going to try and log back in as quick as I can, too. But there's I'm going to see what happens. Good chance to mute myself, guys. Let me put the screen saver up, and I will say hi to anybody. Good chance to say hi if you're here. I think I saw a tip of line in there. Oh, I know. Crazy mom. Same person, right? Uh camouflage i did this <laughs> rip server neo crypto what's up brother guys click on neo crypto right there he's got a youtube channel known him for quite a while have made very few videos with him islands had a glitch so we have some problems uh-oh i hope uh, if everything's gone it's all good dusty I'll, i will make do oh no dynamics server had a glitch ours is good good Whew. 
Guys, if you like what he's doing, uh, it does help, but for me on a Saturday night, if you guys are tuning into a stream at a weird time and I didn't do my normal stream, I'm very grateful. We got the most people watching yet. Um, you guys are fantastic. I love you. I am going to rejoin Chris's server and hide everything while I do. Oh, it's still not showing. Okay, I'll hop and chat with them, see what the update says. What the update says. Man, I talk stupid sometimes. Server, um, still down for you guys, or did it pop up on your lists? Yeah, it's still down. Cool. G Portal decided to do an update. Ah, that's all right. We'll we'll survive it. I'll mute myself again for a minute, guys, but I'll pop back in in a minute. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I I um. Oh yes. Okay. Well, here, shout out to Christy. That is awesome. Christy is is the wife of. Of Ron. Ron I've known quite a while now through the streams. Uh, oh, and Dynamic says can't log into the game. Game just won't start up. Well, weird. Dynamic was having trouble getting on our server too. Um, I have been... Let me know guys while we're killing some time here. I'm waiting for Chris's server to come back up. Has anyone taken time and watched the island stuff? I've done a couple live streams on the weekends. I'm totally... What am I drinking tonight? <laughs> More coffee. Constantly coffee. If I'm gonna be staying up late, I gotta keep chugging this stuff. No booze for me. Come on. And Dusty's a wizard. If he can help anybody, he can help. Or if anybody can help you, dynamic, it'll be Dusty P. He's a boss. Um, but yeah, most people watching. Has anyone given Islands a try? Have you tuned into the game? Have you checked it out? It's for. It'll be for builders. It won't be for everybody. I know there's lots of people who have discovered the channel for different reasons. Um, exploring arc maybe different games who knows i think ron started tuning in back in the day with uh, the long dark i have another series recorded i just haven't put it out yet but yeah shout out to ron and to christy because part of part of something awesome um yes and i got some very chill music playing in the background this is some old school utc music i haven't been playing this quite as much lately um but i figure evening stream we can lay back coffee at this hour no play jack i drink coffee all damn day son all day. I can't say that right. I can't get away with saying sun. I'm still catching up on the building series on Ark. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, then you ain't, you ain't too far behind. I watch you play UTC, but I'm not really interested. Cool. In interested to see the, the feedback from you guys. Because as a builder, I'll tell you the description for me. As a guy who's built a lot of crap in Ark. It's the difference between like a 144 pixel video and a 1080p video. It's the difference between a big slappy paintbrush and a little tiny paintbrush. Like the things I could do in that game as a builder, they're awesome. The video I put out today is a good example. Totally worth checking out. The game stylistically is not going to suit everybody. And let me not get too distracted rambling on. I still don't see their server. I'll check. no talk over there i was just listening in uh it looks like a problem on the server blah, blah 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 you need to get that thing out i want to see it badly keep waiting what am i talking about ron oh the, the long dark that's beautiful i'm really intrigued by islands reminds me of minecraft but without the annoying stuff for me caitlin it is new love affair and to be honest that's part of why you guys haven't seen as much arc stuff i've needed a little break and this game has been perfect timing for that i need i'm refreshed and ready to come at arc and take on some new ideas especially seeing the cool stuff on a stream like we have tonight if we can't get on here guys i'll, I'll keep it short and, and and we'll go on to some other stuff but yeah the islands game i totally dig it uh it's got a few of the videos have a couple thousand views which means it's the kind of thing i could play on the channel so i'm going to be working out some new like i said new arc ideas spending hopefully lots of time on on my in my patreon community with the geeks in the patreon uh, community goofing off on those servers we now have this quad connection of four servers where you can jump between any of them and it's the island uh, aberration ragnarok and scorched earth i'm going to do a little thing on each of the servers i think coming up and then i'm going to pick one and start a big project and we'll get into something building wise a nice long arc series i'm into it i've just been needing time to get it all figured out g portal having some issues today their server went down we'll see um and dynamic d saying islands is a new love for me it's because i started guys with minecraft if you look at a little history of my channel 
it's it's Minecraft and me wanting to be B00100, who was my favorite. Doesn't even make YouTube videos anymore. Drop dropped it making YouTube videos. But anyway, that's me starting out on YouTube as wanting to be that guy. And my favorite version of a series was the way he did his daily building series, which is just you hang out, there's no pretense. It's not about I teach you exactly how to build it. It's about I'm going to build, I'm going to share my building ideas with you. Hopefully I give you some inspiration. I just love that concept. And um, the guy had an awesome personality for it. And I, I really, I started out Minecraft doing building videos. Same thing as him. Um, wanting to just emulate that series. And then ended up getting into ARK. And some people discovered the channel through ARK. And started to build a ton of momentum. Which is awesome, especially through this last year. Been a crazy cool year. There's 35,000 subscribers. that I was... I thought after the first year, I was like, geez, a thousand, how am I going to get a thousand? And then I thought ten, I was thinking a thousand one year, ten thousand two years, and maybe if I was really lucky, I could do a hundred thousand on my third year. I, those were my earliest, best, craziest expectations. We're not even three years in, 35. Honestly, for a long time, I never thought we'd get there. So the channel grew like crazy, but... Minecraft and then proceeds to ARK and some of your favorite ARK videos for me guys are the same series But in ARK me building me sharing my building ideas with you building evolve basically that series, but lots of what I've done is that um, And it looks like G portal servers uh, Best tech support team and friendly awesome. I think this is a G portal server as well link in the description for mine is the guys who sponsor our servers They're amazing as I get going with some new stuff um, Brad hops in. Yes, Brad is awesome. If you guys see Wolf up there, the most two of the four most recent tips. There hasn't been a lot of tips lately. I might get try and get a thing rolling. I need to buy a new microphone. Maybe we'll set a fundraising goal. But uh, two of those tips up there, the Wolf, the 20, and the 5, that's Brad. Works at G Portal like a boss, so shout out to that guy. Link in the description. Get a discount on your server. SW Chris probably has his own, so you can always go use his link too. Um, but yeah, I'll check in and see if anything's cracking with these guys. How's everything going, guys? Server's still not up, so not so great. Cool. Chris keeping his stream going? Uh, he's taking a small break, but he'll okay. be back in about probably five minutes or so. Cool. Alright, I'll mute myself. Guys, so what do you think? I, I uh... I'll talk, I'll talk you guys through. I'll pay some attention to chat. I don't know whether to keep the stream going, I don't know whether their server's coming back up, and I don't have anything ready to bring you guys. I really don't have anything ready to bring you guys. I need to spend some time just playing ARK, so if we're not going to keep on streaming tonight, I will call it a stream and we'll just go great, great, great hour and go from there. But yeah, let's talk. It's all about you, UTC. You're an easygoing guy to hang out with, plus your Patreon community is amazing. They are, very much so, and this is my biggest lament, is that I haven't spent enough time in there. Because I've I found I've always had other things going on, and I didn't expect the Patreon community to grow like it has. That there's 180 people and lots and lots of active ones. Um, let me keep let me keep working through the chat anyway. Just ask Dynamic D. Thanks, Dynamic D. I'll check that out for sure. I love how you explain the build step by step. I have done that a lot, and that's what brought a lot of you guys to the channel. I have not done much of it lately. I'm rethinking my strategy with videos and live streams and what stuff should be videos and what stuff should be live streams. Uh, I spend a lot of time, this has turned into a UTC chat stream while I wait for these guys and their server to come back up. Uh, you could tour the work in progress CCs on the island. I'm gonna, man. I have some, So I have some great ideas. A rally got me inspired and my ideas are gonna center around a CC and a unique CC maybe bringing back uh, some exploration based videos which was another thing that brought a lot of amazing people to the channel and with some cool opportunities for collabs um but yeah let me let me keep catching up because you guys your chat goes so quick uh kids and hubby are playing minecraft sky factory awesome i want to get them into islands i think it's the future we'll see i love minecraft but i went from minecraft to arc did that building evolve series kind of the same thing and now i'm doing it in islands and it, it feels really natural playing that game so that series will keep going I'm going to introduce some new ARC stuff and, and appreciate you guys for being patient while I haven't done much ARC. Um, what else is going on in chat? Wayne, not a big fan of Aberration. I gave it a good try. I gave it a really good try. And, um, uh, well, that's not really true. I spent some time. 
Uh, Randall Hawkins, I like your Baker versus Cook explanation about building. I love that, that that's a thing that still sticks around. That's going back to, I mentioned that a few times, but definitely in the Viking era, Viking village era. We had that going. Um, Night Shimmers, thank you. What's your favorite map? That's a tough one, but it's not a tough one. It's Ragnarok. So I should probably find a base on Ragnarok. And, and guys, shout out to Dynamic D in chat there. Um, he's amazing as well. Go check him out. Pego Studios, if you ever see them in, in chat, that's dynamic as well. UTC, you're just so good to build. I enjoy seeing you do it step by step. Well, I So this is my thing, guys. I have built a lot in Ark. I'm working out some new ideas, but when it comes to videos, the way that I'm doing that island series now, I really enjoy it. Like, I feel like I could do... If that game takes off and builds some popularity, that's something that I could maybe build some new fans doing, and it would be me doing my own style, that Baker versus Cook. It would be Cook style. Build and show you what I've built less than talk you through. And yes, Ron, I still need to do some Ragnarok tours. That is in the, the works. Um, I'm going to be... I'll focus on some CCs and, and things like that. Okay, good. Link from Pego Studios. I always have it in the description. I just I don't think it's at the top if I'm not streaming like the dynamic. I think it'll be a little lower. Um, but yeah, check out Pego Studios down there. Um, Wayne, when you started watching, all you were playing is Minecraft. Have you seriously been around that long, Wayne? You're right. This is what I used to sound like, guys. What is going on, geeks? United Clans here, back in your life with another uh, Minecraft video. Um, today I'm going to be playing Minecraft. I'm, gl I'm glad I had. it was not my first game where I experienced a little bit of success out there playing playing in the, you know, on the YouTube world. Um, I'm glad I got to get... Oh, okay, Chris's server coming back up. Uh, no time for Twitter, Dynamic. Um, so... Uh, anyway, yes. I, if you've been around that long, my man, I love you. That is a hundred zero subscribers. First video ever was Minecraft. But I took same concept, Minecraft building with UTC, Ark building evolved, Islands with UTC, all the same series, just through three different games. So if you haven't given the Islands series a chance and you liked building evolved or you like me playing Minecraft, go watch that. For everyone who ha isn't, gonna work out some awesome new arc stuff have some new ideas we're gonna start doing more live stuff i think maybe in the evenings i'll try and find some time i'm gonna work it all out but i uh, love you guys you're fantastic i'm reloading the server i'm gonna hop in chat and see let, let them know if they're connecting too good news guys i see the server's back up yep, yep. it's coming back on cool i kept my stream rolling i've just been babbling to people answering yeah comments. me too Good. <laughs> you sure learn how to vamp when uh, oh, yeah, buddy. terrible things go wrong. <laughs> I had somebody just tell me in the comments that they have been watching me since I started pl both playing Minecraft, which is like the very start of my channel. And so I just <laughs> talked about how like how much better you get when you make a few hundred videos. I don't know what you're up to, Chris. A thousand, something like that, probably. A, co uh, a thousand... 200 yeah. something like that yeah it's like you get better and better at talking you really do you really do and if you get if you break the habit for a while you lose it oh really okay like a little bit like if i go from making daily videos and i see the see the if i'm recording and uploading every day and I, I i don't know sometimes i can really notice the difference between that and when i'm not getting videos out like that frequently when I'm recording once once or twice a week kind of thing, then I, I just don't have the same rhythm. Surely you're the same. Well, when I started this one, I was umming and awing a lot more, that's for sure. <laughs> it's a concentrated effort, right, to get out of it. It does, it does. I'm, uh, I, now that I'm live streaming more, I might be a little better at, uh, or starting to get better at doing this in a live environment, you know, like like live hosting and all that. Yeah, yeah, we didn't have for when you and I first started working together with our channels, and I can, I can, uh, forgot to show people I'm back in the game. Uh, but when we first started working together, there was not a lot of live stuff. People didn't do both live and videos very much. Right. It was just kind of you did videos on YouTube or you did Twitch live, and all our people we knew were YouTube people, right? Yeah, you did one or the other. Yeah. People got smart doing both, and I've been live streaming to YouTube now for a better part of a year, I feel like, doing weekends in the morning and kind of getting people into a good routine with it, but I got to start adding more to it because I think it's 
seems like the way it's going. Yeah, and I'm just starting in on that world, so we'll see how that goes. No, oh, I like it. Different way to interact with folks. I'll wander around this place a little bit, see if I can find my way to anything interesting. I okay, think we've okay. been through most of it. Yeah, I think we've been through most of it. I think what we're going to do is... I didn't know if um, we were still waiting on some folks. Yeah, once everyone's on, we'll ask Nika if uh, she wants to show one more place in this spot, and then we'll move on to the next base. Cool. All there uh, is I... is the next floor, and that's only like a couple rooms. Okay, okay. We can look at that really fast, and then we'll head on out to whoever's next. Uh, there's a staircase yeah, up sure. going out of the living room. Am I in the right place? Sorry, I wandered off. Um, basically, if you go all the way up the spiral ca staircase, that's the last floor. Cool. I'll find my way up there. I think I found a spiral staircase or two. Yeah, there's like three of them in the building, so. Beautiful. Purple carpets? Uh, yes. Beautiful. And yes, regular time tomorrow. Thank you guys for tuning in Saturday evening arc. First time ever. Sunday morning islands carrying on as usual. Apologies that we missed the stream this week. I love you guys for coming out. Going, work, ugh. Words are hard all the time, Neil says. As soon as I read that, my mouth turns to blah. But yes, I'll, I'm going to keep chatting with these guys. I'll keep staying quiet. I won't get to keep up with all your chat, guys. But thank you. Keep chatting with each other. Still loading lots. Yeah, no worries. We'll just we'll hang out and wait for you guys. Don't worry. I wandered my way up to those extra rooms in Nico's place. I'm having a look around. There's some uh, definitely some rooms up here. It's like a big old war room too. Yeah. Um, if you look up there, you see the three aloe heads. Uh huh. There was an incident where three aloes managed to somehow glitch through the wall. Yeah. And they killed, like, three of my dinos, and that's a memorial for those lost to the Allos. The I'm Great Allo Raid. I'm playing such... The song that's playing in my playlist is so sad right now. It's perfect for that. <laughs> I once played this song as the soundtrack to my bears getting stomped by a titanosaur on the old Iron Mine server. It's just a really oh, sad that's song. That's so sad. But one thing really quick about these little paintings I, I have down here in the room, those are my, all my actual real life works. Really? Yeah. I'll come check it out. Oh, that is cool. I managed to figure out how to have them converted into art paintings, so. That is so cool. So we are up here on the third floor and this stuff looking here. at real life paintings that have been converted into arc paintings that one's just I, a scribble okay i love that spider oh thank you i figured it might be but i wasn't sure okay uh i'll get distracted someone asking what the dang special event is i never update the damn title of the thing um okay let me update this nonsense for you All right, updating it. All right, that should be updated. There we go. And I'll make sure I don't get lost. That's neat. I haven't just been admiring one painting too long. <laughs> I'll tab <laughs> out for a sec. <laughs> awesome. Yes. Yeah, that's very cool to be able to do that. Personal home, personal art gallery. Yeah, that is really cool. And then there's the three aloes. Yep. I had a very sad song playing when I first wandered in here. It was perfect timing.
Beautiful. Yeah, totally. Yeah. That out there is pretty much just the dragon breast and the griffin roost up there. Right. Oh, Lord. What a, what a giant place. It, it awesome. is really neat. <laughs> this is it. I have to say, you did a great job. Oh, thank you. And through this door is just a little kind of fancy bathroom. Oh, that's neat. With an actual shower. Oh, wow. This is like Mr. Burns' bathroom. This is huge. Yes. It was at 12 stories. <laughs> 12 stories. Oh, it is. It is pretty It's tall. a tall old bathroom. Uh, I found my way it's back to the what rich people stairwell. do. They waste space to tell you how rich they are. Yeah. All right. I think I am back where we were before. Work my way back all to right, where all those people cool. are not logged in. Nope. One of these doors. Yeah, how are we doing on logins, guys? I'm in. I'm in. All right, cool. Mind meld is still standing here, sleeping. Yeah, yeah mind is going to stay. He's... Okay, I muted them for a sec, guys. The original art is wonderful. I love that she brought her art into the game. That is so cool. So SW Chris, his community is all about creativity, inspiration. He kind of like found his vision for his channel. About a year ago, got into some arc building stuff after seeing my channel do really well with it. Um, and Chris has done some really amazing original arc builds of his own. Click the link for his channel, guys. It's the front page stuff on his channel. If you're into those step-by-step -step tutorials, he's done a whole bunch of his own. Stairs first. Stormhold 1, so to say. Right yeah, behind there's two of them now, huh? Wait. Geronimo! Well, actually, Oops, that was... Well, actually, I, I was supposed to follow you? That looks crazy. See you, Chris. I'm not following Chris, am I? No, you don't want to I follow I wouldn't. <laughs> Hang on, Chris. I'll come down. Yep. Hey. I, I jumped down off the cliff on accident. Elevator? Well, not on or, accident. Right. I thought there was Flying flat ground too. down there. Where should I go from here? Another, find a staircase, go down? Yep. Yeah, uh, the spiral staircase is all leading to it. the uh, main room. Sweet. Whoops. Throwing punches. Parts of this place might... Oh. I'm good. Am I? Good lord. Alright, so go to the coordinates that I just pasted in chat. Um, and uh, it should take a few minutes for us to get there, so Jen should be logged in by the time we do. I found you. Uh, Lapis says she's also going to switch into a channel when we're heading over there so she can give a tour from the base as well. Very cool. And I think uh, Mel's going to go with her, so on and so forth. I don't know exactly I... what they're planning. Oh, guys, this is uh, this is great. Uh, I'm hoping, uh, hoping you guys are enjoying the stream so far. I've got this little guy. We toured this massive place. We're running around checking out my friend SW Chris's uh, community base builds and stuff like that. I'll keep doing my thing. I've just loaded into your voice chat. Hi, John. Yeah. I see someone in my chat talking about wanting to steal that idea and put their own art into the game as well. <laughs> That's There's a, great idea. a uh, program, I can't remember where I found it, that allows you to do that. Yes, I found one as well. I've made it work in the past and I've had difficulty making it work as well. Uh, where did you guys, I think you're all a little faster than me. You back towards the community center? Uh, yes, go towards the community center and keep going. Okay. Uh, follow follow the land pretty much toward the green obelisk, and uh, once you hit the swamp, go a little left, and you'll see the sandbar. I'm coming up behind you. I think I, think I know the one you're talking about. And when you're really badly lagging, you right Sort of between the reddish cliffs and the uh, swamp islands. At the, at the Precisely. End of the canyon. Sweet. For anyone who's interested, the program is called Arc PNT Editor. Ah, yes. Now, I've done a few custom signs and things like that, and then other times I've tried it with uh, canvases yeah, yeah. and failed. Ooh, is it this place? Multicolored T Rexes? Yes, yep. Yes, those are my T Rexes that I've managed to meet. Alright, I will come settle in. Should I land near your, your uh, 
The other flyers? You can land anywhere, you should be fine. Okay. Well, I guess I should land somewhere I can get get to my bird. Ooh, frames. I'll give them a minute to level yeah, up. Yeah, you might have a little bit of frames. We've got a few buildings and a few diners. Okay, I'll let things load in. We'll see how we do. I got somebody saying they need to get a PC to take their building to another level. It's totally different than just having the vanilla game. Yes, I am. I'm in. I've just put up with all you guys. I'm on my wolf. I love the uh, the red barn. Yeah, Bushy <laughs> um, did all of our building, and yeah, I we, decorated. We were just gatherers. We Looking just gathered good. everything. I have I've been lucky enough to find a few people like that as well. <laughs> I I just went and tamed the utility dinos and been breeding and yeah. Uh, well, that's really cool. So, um, why don't we uh, let's see who who wants to kind of give the tour of the main house and we'll spend about 15, 20 minutes here and then move on. Uh, cool. Or if it takes less time, all the better. So. Already. Lots um, of places to I'll, see. I'll give you. A yeah, tour the house. we, we so got. We should do the tour in the house. Okay. Oh hey. This is my this is my place. <laughs> oh really? Yes, we, we've got a few different. Yeah, this is a like farmhouse builders, build of mine. People that we followed. Yeah, that looks great, guys. That's cool. Sorry, caught my attention. I rebuilt it myself recently, yeah. and I painted it red. Well, yeah, the farmhouse is um, our guest house. Cool. And then we've got the big main house, we've got the barn, we've got our kibble silo, and um, greenhouse outside and all sorts. Yeah, so tell me about this house that we're standing in right now. This is our main house. Um, the workshop is over here. We have all of our um, like chemistry bench and extra storage for mats and saddles and gear and stuff. I know I know. I spotted a build of mine. Is this Aaron Longstaff design? Or is this original one of yours? I it's believe Aaron. this is Aaron Longstaff. It looked familiar. I thought so. His, his build's all over my people's servers as well. He's everywhere. We, we tried to do like a mixture of everybody. Awesome. Yeah, there's a lot of cross-pollination on all these servers. It's really oh, cool for sure. to see. I had a joke rant the first time somebody built a Aaron Longstaff building on my server. <laughs> I <laughs> pretended to get all upset about it and be like, hey, you oh, can't oh, build GTC, his stuff, I only um, build mine. The that you made UTC, whenever I start on the server on my own, that's like what I build first. Oh, that's cool. It's just enough room for everything that I want. <laughs> no, well, Aaron's made some amazing, his channel just blew up this year. He's made some amazing buildings. They all look so good from the outside. Like, I recognized it right away. Yeah. So big, too. I can never build this big and make it look any good. You've got that <laughs> skill, Chris. You've built some very big stuff over the last year, right? Yeah, yeah. Every once in a while, I, I put out something like that. I think Bigger. maybe we should <laughs> so maybe we should talk them into building those Rohan stables again. This is the dining room and kitchen. Looks great. I love the, uh, the greenhouse uh, glass letting some light in. Yeah, that we're gonna do. Uh, is so epic, always. Yeah, we're gonna do a big garden type thing in the backyard. There. Oh, okay, that's cool. My frame's struggling in a few of these bases, guys. Let me know how it is on your end. If I have to lower graphics to medium, I will. We're rocking high right now in 720p to try and make it look as good as we can. But sometimes that's 25. That's a good number of frames. But sometimes it's dropping a little too low. What do you what do you do in it? Um, store all the eggs and cook the meat so we can do uh, jerky for kibble. Okay. Is this wall in it. How, is that just a double door frame or is it a wall yeah, and a half? Just, just it's double a double door frames. But it's a there's a half wall a, above it. Okay. And then a half wall below it. It's a good shape. I like that. It's a great way to do kitchen windows. This reminds me of the that house I grew up in. Yeah. Man, that looks so natural. I didn't even think to question it. Good good eye. <laughs> yeah, so half wall, double door frame, half wall. I'm sure I've done something similar before, but I've never used it like internally, like a window like that. That's cool. Yeah. 
And then in the center of the kitchen, there's a drop down as well with pots and pans hanging off of it. Oh, yes. Okay, so how did you do that? Um, honestly, it was bushy. It's a half wall and a ceiling hanging from it, right? Yeah, he, he must have built it up with walls around it before and yeah. uh, then sunk the railings into the ceiling and then removed the walls because of S+. Plus. Yep, got it to the right height too. Yeah, looks good. Chris, the, the best stuff is always the stuff where someone has to point it out, and then you're like, "Oh, dang, that looks great!" Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no kidding. Um, <laughs> next, we have Surprise. our office, which is pretty self-explanatory over here. Okay. We use double doors. Go inside here. It looks a little nice. Little office, here. very cozy. Secret and then staircase. upstairs. I am. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm going to see if you guys can guess what it okay. is. Okay. So. And peace out to Dynamic D. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for hanging out, brother. I appreciate it. And I will definitely see you tomorrow morning. If Islands will corroborate, corroborate. If not, we'll make something happen. We'll figure something out, man. Um, we'll do an Islands video together or something like that instead. Um, but yeah, I will be live streaming tomorrow morning, Sundays, in case we lose some of the 60 of you who are watching now. Such a great game. Let me follow this tour so I don't get lost. There's a lot of pets up here. Yep. Yeah, that they're watching something. Yes, I, I see. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, sick. I like the little cinema lights. Excellent work. So how big an inspiration everybody, I guess, who plays this game? For some, for us, Jurassic Park had some implication in our lives for the most part, right? It was yeah. Jurassic sure. Park, the Dino Riders, if you remember that cartoon. That, oh, that yes. had a lot of it for me. Oh, oh, Dino Dinotopia. <laughs> oh, see, for me, all well. ju it was all Jurassic Park. But I'm the right age. I would have been maybe nine when Jurassic Park came out. So you're, you're ripe for imagination at that age. <laughs> Pretty much. Getting obsessed and with stuff and you start to get cool gifts like Lego. And parents get you Jurassic or Oh, the Jurassic Park toys were amazing. They used to have pieces of flesh you could remove so they looked wounded. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anyone remembers that. They were crazy. Oh, but Jurassic yeah. Park. I, I absolutely those. remember those. Yeah, it hooked me. That's what made me try this game on the first day. And I got the most views on a video I ever got and started playing this game <laughs> all the time. <laughs> but it was because of Jurassic oh. Park. Gotta give credit there. This is the best room. I love this, this is, room. Um, this is Ark After Dark. This Ark is After Dark. <laughs> <laughs> With the bartender. I have the yeah, we got oh bar my. Bar. Okay. Yep. Okay. I see what you mean. <laughs> oh, do you have a Chippendale bartender? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, the S Plus, one of, one of these S Plus guys, around. I was going to say these guys used to strip off their clothes at every chance they got, but they keep them on now no mm -hmm. matter what I do. We have NPCs downstairs that are um, in their undergarments that we did not put out because this is a family service. Thank you. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's the same video I talked about with the joking about Aaron Longstaff, but that was the first time I discovered these S+, plus, whichever one it is, Gardener? Farmer. That's the farmer. But yeah, when, when you walk up and it's just like, bam, oh wow, he's completely naked. Um, and that's pretty much the whole house. The other side rooms are for just beds, and there's nothing in them. So. Beautiful. Yeah, the, the glow of these the little red, lights. So cool. The red shag on the floor, too. It's just like, reminds me of my infantry days. Red light behind the bar. That's super realistic, too. <laughs> <laughs> I work behind a lot of crappy bars, so. <laughs> I've been to a lot of crappy bars. Very mm -hmm. cool. That, that Gigantopithecus has got it good. Yeah. So let's uh let's Hope use our remaining him. time. Oh, sorry to tread over your joke there. No, sorry, um, man. Sorry to tread let, over let's your. Let's look around some of the other him. areas here before we run out of time here. Okay. Um. Let's see. We have another house over here. We have a guest house. Um, Alrighty. Go inside really quick. And... Where the blue T Rexes are. Yes, they're yes. guarding it. I can't go along with this guy. This is my design. I really hate. <laughs> it's, it's so cool, but so weird to see something that you've thought up one day built on other people's servers. I'll go check it out, but I'm gonna stay out of the conversation. I don't want these people 
talking about if, whether they like it or hate it. Um, yes, this is brand new. This got finished yesterday. Put up and decorated yesterday. Can't wait to see the interior. Oh, nice job. Thank you. Kitchen. A little upstairs. living room. Upstairs. Yes, upstairs there's a little office and two bedrooms. Oh, nice. Nice office. Who's the guy with the yellow eyes? I have no idea. Oh, that's that's Anna. Okay. <laughs> I thought it might have been an NPC. I know. I'm pretty convincing. Nice bedroom. I can't fit through doors. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah. No, that's very cool looking. Um, I have one nice. more thing that I would really like to show you guys before you leave, and then Jen can show you the barn and the, the more yeah. functional okay. stuff. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Okay, it is over here. This leads to our... I'm glowing. How cool is that? Somebody builds something for my tutorial on someone else's server, and I stumble into it and look so cool on the inside. Good it job. Right oh, I think I know what it looks like. <laughs> This is our trading post. Looked like it should be on the show, and we were flicking through videos, and me and Bushy just went, oh, "Yeah, it's perfect." It's this is good. Monster. I love this. This is a nice adaptation of the. Um, I know the Aaron Longstaff design. It's got me at least two to one in this place already. <laughs> That's so cool. Our water taming pen is out here. Something is attacking. Wow. Yeah, something's attacking. Whereabouts? In, In the water pen. I'm working on it. And this shark should hopefully be able to take it. I got it. It's all settled. I did tap. Were the sharks on passive? Uh, I think uh, Bushy had been breeding them, but they should be all right. Wow. This is really cool. No, this, this was not here the last time I visited it. Yeah, we did a, we've done a lot more work since you last with Chris. We're like, oh, let's come and see what we've done. Let's build more. <laughs> Oops, I'm locked out of that one. Oh, well, it's just yeah, a workshop. It yeah, it's just, it's literally a workshop. <laughs> it's a nice workshop. I like the exterior and the interior and everything. Okay, Jen, take it away. <laughs> So um, we've also done the Aaron barn, but we realized that we need more than one. So we've got a double barn with a tack room in between. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm coming over. So you've got the first barn, tack room, second barn. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at that really fast. Is this barn uh, a design of someone's too? Did you say that already? It's Aaron Long stuff. I think you've got three in this. I think you guys got three of his kicking around here. He's pro prolific. Yeah. I think the the big pointy roof one over here is his two breeding pen, right? Nice tack room. Uh, but we, we were sort of adjusted it a little bit. Cool. Yep, big barn. I dig it. There's yep. um, ladders going up into the loft space. That's where we're parking like spare birds and like breeding mutations that we don't want to use yet but we do want to use you guys are talking about interesting things in chat utc uh hold on let me see 1k hours new desert build for ragnarok i'm thinking about desert but i was thinking scorched earth ragnarok i got a different plan maybe we'll see find some new ideas uh first got turned on to you in a community crunch that's sweet. I used to post to that thing all the time, oh. building tutorials. Welcome, new subscriber. Love you. 126 days of what? Have I ever made a chapel? No. I should do that. Some kind of small church. Oh, yes, that's true. I did the Fire God Swamp. Hollow Fire Cathedral, we called it. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Building Evolved episode 33, 4, 5, somewhere right around there, maybe. Something like that. People love Aaron's barns. Aaron's got some good stuff. Zix, I will see you in the morning, too. Love you guys. Thank you for hanging out. We're still at 53. You guys roll. And 
dodo pen, a silo where all the spare dinos are stored, and then like the big breeding hatchery area. Oh gosh. It's really springs. cool. Yep, I saw this dodo pen earlier. It's pretty adorbs. I gotta say, they can decorate a lot better than I can. I have to hire them now. Prize that dodos. Is all Mel. That is all Mel. All the decorating is Mel. Bushy builds, I gather, and then we go, Mel, it's done. And she comes and decorates and goes, What do you think? And we're all just, Ooh. You have won Community Crunch three times and play second twice now. Recently, TLC, what's your name on there? Or were you doing it back when I was doing it? There was one guy that I never beat. Nobody ever beat him. Somebody. I forget who. Adobe Barn. Okay. I need inspiration, guys. There's some great ideas. We can do some fun stuff. If there were other maps for Ark, would you have an Explorer series? So I'm thinking about a new Explorer series. How important is the map to people? I wonder. And I do talk. I love to talk. I hope that sets me aside from those guys, guys. I, I don't know. I love other builders, but for me, I couldn't just build and not talk. Talking to you guys is a key to this. I love sharing um, the things that inspire me, how I get inspired, and, and the cool stuff I get back from you guys. I couldn't not talk. It's more important to me than building. I would rather do a podcast than do an Aaron Longstaff style, just straight tutorials. I couldn't do it. I like my own voice too much. The eastern direction. Let me find my bird. Uh, another place to to uh, zip over to? Yep, if Swamp you Ruins, UCC. From, okay. Uh, okay. Where we are, just go to the Swamp Ruins, you'll see his load thing. My old... My, I used to have a place around here. That's why I chose it. Beautiful, man. That's cool. Uh, did you use the same same particular... Oh, this is where the, the yep. Swamp uh, House is? Sweet. Yeah, you sent yep. me pictures of uh, this earlier. So this is K bars, right? Is that how I say it? Yeah. Cabs. Yeah. Or cabs. just cabs. Cabs. Cool. I have a hard time pronouncing it too because of the double A. Okay. Think well, of the there's K bar knife. There's, it's K bar then? There's also Babar, yeah. the little French elephant. Baba. Right. Yep. <laughs> I don't want to call you by hand. That's how I default. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna let things load in and take a little yeah. slow tour. Can it land anywhere? Probably landing where the Wyvern and the Brontos would be. It would be the easiest. Cool. And this should look familiar to some of you guys. Building Evolved Season Five. Is that what it was called? Series Five, Volume Five, The Swamp Kingdom, Fallen Swamp Kingdom. Did this in what were we doing that november december something like that um did all those swamp inspired builds went to old shrek's house but this is the same joint so this is awesome he's inspired by me i'm flattered guys love you talking is the key the map is the key uh my server other than the geeks is already looking to swap back from aberration yeah and to send you a message on your channel so you can check it out okay well thank you guys we'll catch up soon i'll pay attention to these guys my frames really suck here, just to warn you. I apologize in advance. And if you're watching the replay, thank you for dealing with all this screen time with nothing happening while I babble with these people. I can't stop talking to these guys. I love them. Maybe a little hungry. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Cute. Okay. And then I guess we'll go up first. So just run through the ruins. Okay. Trying to wait for UTC so he doesn't get lost. I, got, I had to, I had to talk, talk to people about this location. Oh, uh, okay. And then just come up the stairs. I never really Fun. used this part of the ruins. It's pretty great. This is great. I mean, I love how he's incorporated it into a build. I was building and here. Like, uh, so, oh, go ahead, brother. Sorry. I didn't want to rebuild the stairs. Yeah. So I made it like they were part of a structure, but not the integral part i i see it and this started out as my aviary but my bird collection grew too much so i've repurposed it into small shoulder pet area oh that's sweet i dig it do you have upper levels and low what's what's this one's empty 
Yeah, they're both empty. Um, that's going to be for mutations of okay. whatever. Oh, of whatever's so, underneath? Yeah, so I'm working on a killer swarm, as Jenny likes to call them, which is going to be a mix yeah. of vultures and dimorphs. Yeah, there's no there's no adorable little gerboas or shinehorns here. No. This is a flock. That's coming. A murder of... <laughs> yeah, it's just wing death and destruction in this building. A murder of vultures? I don't think that's how it goes, but... Maybe an arc that is. So then, if you come back down here, all right. Hey, you get a good. I'm gonna tag along on the tour, guys. I'm gonna keep stepping out to hear you. Um, I think it's important. Right? Cab definitely wants me to see the place, so I won't stay out of chat too long. I won't pay attention to the tour. This song is pretty jamming. It's got some. It tells a story. I uh. I came over here and I had seen UTC talking about the center runes over here mm. where you could have like the marker or whatever. I haven't done anything in here yet. I never got to it either. <laughs> I was on an extinction well, server. Time ran out and I just got to only like 10% of my ideas. So what I've done is I've kind of left this off and it's probably going to end up to be a sarcopen. Cool. Well, it's got, it's Nothing perfect the for them, man. This, yeah, this, Sarko and Capro. This part is fantastic. It's too small for boats or anything, but for a, a, I brought my Sarko in and out of here a bunch of times, and he just like slides yep. right up on this belly, right on these stairs, like a seal. Yeah. So what I did is, if you come through these double doors, on either side here, I'll I wait. have taming pens, ah. or holding pens. Um, I did use the dynamic gates right here because things weren't lining up. Yep. Good use of them. Yeah, I've been trying to... I've only been using them in places where the walls... Where you would normally have a, a normal gate. I have yep. been using them to bridge weird distances. So, and then if you come over to this one... This one's slightly bigger. Um, Eco's mod gate over here. Alright, guys. Uh, I will keep... Keep tagging along. I don't want to jump out of chat too much, but I do like paying attention to you guys. Yeah, Murder of Crows. That's what I was thinking of. He's not just the Bob Ross of Ark, but the Bob Vila of Ark. And then someone says, I'm addicted to your bills. So happy to actually be on for a live stream. Well, that is so sweet of you. That's really flattering. I uh, managed to put a lot of building ideas out there in the world over the last little while. And uh, it's cool to inspire people. I'm seeing it in action here. I hope, did they go over here? I'm lost again, damn it. Yeah, because I spend so much time just creative building that I don't get a chance to see the animals. Watch when it runs. Okay. It's like see a the tail goes up, and oh, your tail yeah, goes yeah, straight yeah. up in the air. But I had another one. I named it Pumba. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you're looking at warthogs. Right. Yeah, I have a warthog over here. I played with them for a while. They're pretty fun. They make a fun little mount. Yep, good for mutations as well. Make their tiny little legs go super fast. I like to up the speed. Okay, yeah. speed, so, speed hog. When you uh, come through back over here, I, I was ahead of you. Lose everybody. Uh, you yeah. lost me. You're heading back yeah. to where? Um, the house. Okay, head toward the house. So down here, Man. I have two pens underneath. One is for Sarcos, the other one's for Capros. Mm hmm. I don't oh, think I, I realized how epic the ruins are that are out there. And then I tamed a Basio and a Megalodon the other day. Nice. Yeah, man. I think, go, are there normally tons of trees over over there? Because I don't remember the yeah, orange yes. being that obvious. That looks yeah. so good. They're so huge. So That's when weird. you come up, up the stairs... It's my workshop. Yep. This is a cool workshop. And tons of extra space up top you've never used? Well, it was. It was my greenhouse, but I just recently tore oh, it Oh, I up. see. I gotcha. It's, it's been moved. The structure's going to probably get turned into uh, a moth moth house. It's interesting. All right. Metal roof on a wooden house. So then, Don't see that well, too much. Well, if, if you go, in, go to Louisiana and yeah. you look at the swamp houses... Oh, I, I dig it, man. Have 
Yeah, they all have tin roofs. I've had somebody ask me to do a, a, a swamp house, and I was like, I kind of pictured that, like a not, um, not quite corrugated, but uh, yeah, metal roof. Almost like uh, yeah, maybe maybe that could be for eco. She could put corrugated metal roofing in. Kind of has the, the stable stable roofs are a little bit like that. They're not quite. Yeah, the stable roofs are sort of like that. Yeah. So if you come in this door or the front door, or whatever. This is just a main floor. It was decorated for me by Silver. Uh, what's up, Tolmolia? Sign into chat. What does that mean, sign into chat? Sign into chat. Sorry, guys. This has got all sorts of great sense of humor. And then uh, upstairs is the bedroom. With a giant swamp terrarium nice in it. terrarium. Yep, lots of glass. I built a place yep. with some glass on it like this before. Uh, it's uh, what, such a cool view. Yeah. What I like is being able to, you know, you get up here, you can look out and see everything. Um, you know what I did? And, and you, your metal, it would ruin your metal roof. But I ended up putting in those angled gate things on top of a glass roof and made a little skylight. Uh, oh, okay. Out of it where you could, you know, like the angled gate frame thing. I think it's mm -hmm. like a two by yeah. two. And I, I put it on with uh, with the greenhouse glass underneath, and, and so you could walk up to it, and it opened up. It's pretty sweet. Uh, that'd, be, but, that'd be interesting. But you have nice lighting up here. These, I think that's from is that from Advanced Rafts? That one? Nope, it's the Eco Stable mod. Okay. Oh right, right. Okay, cool. Yes, I've used that light before. Yeah, no power needed for it. It's a looker. Yeah. So then the deck downstairs goes all the way around. Sweet. So then, you know, yeah, I have I have my helipad here for my for my flyers. I love helipads. Arc helipads are just the best. Yep. yep. So So we can run across or fly across. I built a bridge. I've always wanted to build a suspended one and use um uh, which we call it uh, cables, like uh, power cables as like uh, as supports. You did a you did something similar to that once, Chris, where you had like diagonal supports coming down to support a Quetzal platform yes. thing. Yeah, I'm building evolved. I did a uh, a build was that where it was just like a suspended um, shipping dock, just I high up in the air off one of those uh, center pillars. Yes. Yeah. Um, what did you use so... for the the angular things? So I ended just... up using uh, fence foundations. That would work. Yeah, because so the wires were at two forty. They were at forty-five degrees, mm. and I needed something a little less than that. Yep. Nope. That's cool. So if we go down here. We can run across the bridge. All right. All right I sidetrack you guys. I got too many follow-up questions. <laughs> I'll do to ask. We got a few minutes because it's going to take a while to run across. Oh, I, so, I meant the, oh, that I keep distracting you with. I don't currently have. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm not prepared. So, okay, I saw that. What was it? Did you get grabbed? No, almost though. I saw that thing just leap up at you and it missed you. Where is it? On the far side of the br uh, the bridge, just down here, eating at the bridge right now. Capro, I think. Shoot there he the goes. Corral. Blast him. Thanks for the XP. <laughs> Cabs, Cabs, Cabs is from Louisiana, but he acts like he's from Texas sometimes. People from Texas just want to be us. <laughs> no, I, I don't say that. <laughs> so, this is this is my current project, which is my Spino project. Okay, what what are you doing with it? Or Trying with to get him mutated. Um, if you look across the water, you'll see two of them over there already. One has a uh, okay. kind of yellowish and orange. I can save the mutation talk. I'm here for the builds. I'll wait till he goes in. But check out these ruins, guys. I I lived very close to these, and I don't think I knew that you could make anything that looked this fantastic out of them. Like I used these same archways to make my cathedral, but it was just a double, and I used them as the windows. But this is pretty sweet. 
Excuse me, it looks like a warehouse from a distance. This is the spot with like the, it's got, this, this part goes way back and there's fallen heads I think back there. This is the spot I'm thinking of. Yeah, pillars and heads. Check that out. Just touring around. So this thing was a platform. I remember this particular spot. Man, he did a cool thing making wall out of this. I never thought to chop down all the trees and think how cool this would look, how different it would look. I was thinking about doing something down here. I just never got to it. But yeah, that, see this big chunk of floor above our heads that's missing? He just kind of built right across it, squared it off, made nice ruins out of it. You gotta get your first wall so straight when you do a build like this. I'm digging it. Anyway. Okay. Love the way you use these ruins, man. Thank you. I'm just gonna run grab my Quetzal. That way I can uh, bring you guys up to the top. Alrighty. Guess it's not easy to get up there. No. Um, it's a lot of running and it's snake infested. Yeah. Oh wow, that is a lot of stegos. Yeah. <laughs> I came yeah. up the stairs and I looked at all we guys when we were here we barely used any of this space people do such good work we use this little dock right here and apologies if the frames drop while i fly around not too bad um, but this little dock right here we used and built a little hut on and then i built almost all my stuff around this section on our left i built a little hut out on that corner of the house i built on the front of the place and then i had houses across this bridge and then over here is where I did my cathedral. But I really didn't use... Actually, he's used a very different chunk of the ruins than me. That was where I did my cathedral. I guess it was a triple arch. Oh, my dogs are whimpering. I think I may be getting to the end of live stream time for old UTC anyway. Let's see what these guys are talking about. So if y'all want to jump up, you just... Yep. Jump up on the rock, and then uh, if you can't mount him... And then jump from the rock onto the platform. It's pretty easy. Or I could do this. I I happened to pick up my flyer a little while ago. I think I'm gonna step ahead of you guys. All right, sounds good. Did you get up, Nico? Uh, no, I haven't. I figure I'd just grab my bird real quick. Whoa, whoa. What? What? Don't ask. <laughs> All right, let me check back in, guys. Stream been going one hour, 47 minutes. Okay, that's great. Um, so let me talk here. Uh, getting the eco stuff for starters. Uh, I might running on a limited space on my laptop at the moment, and I don't have a public server. I play single player now. Yeah, I played single player at first, too. That's JWS Baby Girl, who mentioned how much is love my builds. I assume that's a girl, based on the name. If you're a dude and your name's JWS Baby Girl 1, maybe you're talking about your daughter. I would assume that's a girl. Uh, I never thought they were that big. That's cool. I don't know how to push. Ba, ba, ba. I should read these before I start saying out loud. You guys are just talking about PC specs. I love the buildy bits. Trying to build a couple more UTC designs and an SW Chris one. Awesome. Chris and I have known each other a long time, guys. There's a playlist on my channel. If you search SW Chris on my channel, it's an old UTC and SW Chris playlist. And yes, I'm a girl. Josh is a girl. Beautiful. Awesome. And see you, Waldo. Thank you, Barla. Thank you for hanging for all out. My, for all my uh, just regular, everyday, this is what I used to breed with. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Are, are there any particular designs you're looking for? I want to get blue, a solid, bright blue one, or a variant of. Okay, so uh, had... you're focusing on these guys because there's already some blue in there? Yep. Gotcha. We got All right. some crazy people on our server built breeding these things up all, all into the high 300s on their levels. It's ridiculous. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I got, uh, so far I'm up to 280. Shout out to Wiz from the Geek server. I think he's got some of his Dodicarus. He's in like 370s on some of his creatures that he's been breeding. He's, he's a madman. That's crazy. But two set, like even the 270s and 280s are crazy. Yeah. So well, are there then, any other? Is there another yep. area that you'd like us to uh, like to show us yep. before we move on? Yeah, it's up top. Alrighty, with so, the flyers. Yeah. So I Chris might be stuck on the ground here. 
Yeah, all you have to do, Chris, is uh, mount the uh, just press. All right, I hope you guys are all doing good. Was that? Did someone say Fox something? Island is down. Weird. Corey, is that our island server? What's up, Corey? No, not our island server. Corey. Corey is uh, Luna, right? What's up, brother? Thank you. Uh, some great builds. Good stuff, guys. Yeah, they're doing awesome stuff. I'm not at the end of a playlist yet. 380 on the Doties. 370 on the Yankees. 406 on the Thornies. Thank you, Dusty. Let me share that. And then I'll just... Uh, I'll go up top and bring you up top. I'm just cheating. I'm going to cheat. I got it. <laughs> I got an update on um, my guy Wiz's breeding stats. He's got 380s on the Dodecarus, 370s on the Ankylos, and 406 on the Thorny Dragons from breeding. Wow. Starting at 180, I'm sure we were at. So I don't know what the nice. start level is, but that's a madman. That's crazy. So, here you go, Nico. Thank you. So there's my, uh, and up here are my big flyers, the Quetzals and Griffins. And you can see I got my lime green Griffin. Oh, of, I think this is my favorite. <laughs> yeah, the, the two Quetzals that are behind me are um, mutations. One has a lavender body, and the other one has obviously the blue neck. What's up with the Griffins? They don't breed still, do they? Or do you guys have a Griffin breeder mod? We have, we have the uh, breedable Griffins mod. Mm. Sweet, and that's a yep. that's a breeding mutation. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, the blue, the blue and the lavender is a breeding mutation. Hey, Nico, if you want to go stand right in front of the Quetzal, I'll just pick you up. That's cool. And that's it for my area for now. Awesome! Cool. Thank you for showing us. Um, um, so, Chris, I have to ask you: Did you have another um, uh, spot in mind to tour around the the place, or a few more? Uh, other people's play, uh, bases? I believe they gave us, uh, there's uh, another two. Okay, cool. I may have to bail on you guys. I'm kind of coming to the end. My dogs are starting to get antsy anyway. But I wanted to stop That's and say fair. thank you for touring me around. I'm really appreciate it. Hey, you're it. welcome. I uh, needed a bunch of inspiration. I put links in my description to your Discord, which is the Chris Cord, right? Uh, yeah, the then, Chris Cord. <laughs> and then to your channel, I mentioned to uh, people in my stream when I cut away from you guys at one point that Chris, you do, you kind of have done a lot of similar videos to the ones that people might know my channel for, which is Arc Building Stuff. You have awesome step-by-step -step tutorials, and obviously this is a whole community of people building cool stuff. So thank you for the invite, and people go check out Chris before I call my stream a, a stream. Hey, you're welcome. Thanks for uh, stopping by and checking out all this stuff. Cool. Really cool. Awesome. I'm going to pass out here. Hopefully I'm not in your way, uh, Cabs, but feel free to do what, no, what, you will, what you will with me in case I'm not back anytime soon, but thank you guys. I'll just yeah. drag you in the house. Awesome. All right, guys, that's cool. I wanted to, uh, what, wanted to wrap up with these guys. I'm coming up to two hours of streaming. I think we saw some cool stuff. Um, I see people are ready to bail on this anyway, I think. So what I will ask you guys, tune in tomorrow morning, Sunday morning, 11 a.m. I'm going to be streaming some islands. I am going to get some dinner for myself and then i think i'm going to be playing on the geek server hopefully coming up with some new ideas and getting inspired and i gotta put some teleporters down for people and <laughs> do some other favors but yeah um thank you guys for tuning in thank you to my patreon supporters the stream sponsor type people you guys are great a uh, nice little sunday saturday night stream uh i thank you guys for not giving me crap that we missed the, the one this morning and uh and yeah anyway love you guys a uh, shout out to g portal servers they ran this server as well and um, I will be streaming next thing tomorrow morning, and we won't have this silly camouflage backdrop. But yeah, thank you for tuning in. I'm going to hopefully do more evening streams. Hoping. And I think we'll work that out over the next couple of weeks. But love you guys, and I will see you soon.